Hello everyone. I wanted to hop on here to give another an update on the Bank of Canada meeting that happened yesterday. The Bank of Canada has increased the overnight rate a full 1%, bringing the overnight rate to 2.5%. The increase was higher than the 0.75 that was widely expected. This is the biggest rate jump since 1998. So what does this mean for the prime rate? Banks will also uh, be increasing their prime rate a full 1%, bringing it to 4.7%. Even though prime rate is increasing, your discount on prime will stay the same. So if you have a discount on prime of 0.5%, your net rate will now be 4.2%. As I have been saying in the past, inflation is the main problem and the Bank of Canada is trying to decrease consumer spending with these rate increases and in attempt to bring down inflation. Yes, consumer demand spending is high and in our economy. From the pandemic, many people were receiving stimulus checks from the government, employees were working from home, saving on normal everyday expenses, gas, restaurants, etc. And with everything being closed down and individuals were unable to spend their money, leading many Canadians to have an increase in disposable income. With everything opening up again and restrictions disappearing, people are eager to spend that disposable income and aren't necessarily as cautious about inflation as they would have been in a normal inflation economic landscape. Without looking at rising prices, you can't tell inflation is high. Malls are packed, consumer spending is up, restaurants are full, and airports are packed with eager travelers. Unfortunately, high demand in our economy isn't the only driving factor of inflation. Global factors such as the war in Ukraine and ongoing supply disruptions have been the biggest drivers of high inflation because of the effect on supply. I still think that variable rate mortgages are the better option, with the Bank of Canada squeezing out high demand and hopefully some of the global factors resulting in a low supply will resolve themselves, we will start to see inflation coming back down to the target range. We are currently in a global economical storm that will hopefully settle in the coming years. Locking into a fixed rate mortgage can tie your hands with large penalties. If rates do come back down, you will want to break your mortgage. Variable rates are still expected to rise this year and maybe even a little bit by next year. My suggestion would be to ride out this high inflationary period with a variable rate mortgage, so if rates do come down, you are not stuck in a five-year fixed rate mortgage. Now, if you are extremely worried and mortgage rates are keeping you up at night, I would suggest locking into a short-term mortgage if that is available to you. Many people are asking me if they are in a mortgage currently with a low rate and are coming up for renewal in the near uh, in the next two years or three years. What should they do? My suggestion is to stay in that mortgage, and if you are looking for extra funds at the moment, a HELOC home equity line of credit could be an option. Or you could also top up your mortgage with the extra needed funds by adding a new mortgage component. This will allow you to keep your current rate untouched and pay uh, going rates on the new increase. I do suggest with the new funds being added to do a variable rate mortgage, try to line them up so they meet up at the same time upon maturity. This way, you're not paying a penalty to merge the two balances when they come up for renewal at the same time, if that makes sense. I was speaking to a client today, and after a few minutes of our conversation, he said something, and I feel like this can be a great quote. When 99% of the world is in a panic, it's good to speak to the 1%. 
My goal in these videos is to give you as much information as I can. I am not an economist and I don't have a crystal ball, but I have been through a few economic downturns in life as a mortgage broker. I hope this helps calm some nerves and answer some questions you may have had. If you do have any more questions, please ask them in the comments and I will make sure to answer them as soon as possible. You can also reach out to me at rasha at shopmortgages.ca, call me at 519-250-4848 or fill out one of our contact form on my website shopmortgages.ca. Thank you and have a great day.